Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. How's everybody doing today? Hopefully everybody is doing well. Uh, I haven't shot a video in a while. It's been a little over a week. I feel like I, that's kind of my routine now. I feel like I shoot like five, six videos and then I don't do anything for like eight, 10 days, then five, six videos. But uh, today I'm attempting to go out and film a few videos while I'm out and about. So if you see me wearing the same shirt in some of the upcoming videos, it's probably because I'm trying to film probably like three videos today. Uh, while I'm out and about. So I'm gonna try this method. Uh, maybe if I can do that, I can get more content out more um, on a regular basis is kind of the plan. But anyway, in this video, we are going out and about. Uh, I got my mom with me. It's her birthday coming up in about a week and she gets a free bun cake from that company, Nothing Bun Cakes. They're little like bun cakes. I don't know if you have that in your area or not. And she gets a free one because her birthday's coming up. So. We're gonna go pick that up, but over in that area, there's a Trader Joe's, we're gonna go there. But then there's also a Target that usually has a really nice NECA section that's right across the street. So we're gonna go in there, uh, maybe look at a couple Blu-rays, see if they got any of the new releases out that came out. Uh, go look, see if uh, Avatar's there. Probably not gonna pick it up, but it'd be kind of cool to show off in the video. Uh, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna swing over to Half Price Books. She's got some books she wants to sell. So we'll look in there a little bit and just, yeah, it's kind of an out and about. As far as the NECA's are concerned, there's really not any NECA's I'm looking for, except for maybe if I found that Teen Wolf Toonie Terrors, I'd maybe pick that up because I wanted that that one time and I didn't get it and I went back again and it was gone. I'd maybe get that, but the one thing that I would definitely pick up if I found it is the, uh, and I think it's out already, is the Donatello Invisible Man, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Universal Monsters crossover. Uh, I just need that one, and then the uh, April O'Neil Bride of Frankenstein still, and then I have that whole series, and I'm gonna try to do an unboxing, kind of cool video with all of those. Uh, but those two I'm still missing. Um, Bride of Frankenstein, I see, but I'm gonna, if I see it today even, I probably won't get it. But if I do see that Donatello Invisible Man, I'm definitely gonna pick that up. But other than that, there's not a whole lot of NECAs I'm really looking for. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of, uh, that's what we're gonna do today. Just same old, same old, but it's always fun to get out of the house when you're not working and go see what kind of NECAs and movies you can find. So let's stop wasting time and let's get going. guys what we just got out of the half price books uh somebody had definitely sold some cool horror stuff since the last time i was in there they had some some scream factory stuff some blue underground stuff um yeah just a bunch of really cool titles uh i didn't really film too much i'll just kind of put over the litter over this the little bit of horror stuff that i filmed when i was in there yeah they definitely had some really cool stuff the unfortunate part about half price books is they know what they have and they usually will charge equal to where you get everywhere else or usually even a little bit more. Uh, I did pick up one thing there. I was gonna get two things there. I was gonna pick up that Ginger Snaps uh, Scream Factory. They had it for $14.99, it was factory sealed. But then I saw online, I can get the same thing on Amazon for like $10.99. So I was like, well, I'm not gonna buy it here. But I did pick up one item that I did not actually show off in the video. Uh, and I'll show that off at the end of this video. Um, it was dirt cheap, I'd never seen it before. I heard it wasn't the greatest, but I figured, you know, I think it was $6 for $6, I'll give the movie a shot. Uh, so yeah, so we're gonna take off here, guys. We are going to head over to uh, Egan and go hit up the Target. So I'll see you guys over there. All right, guys, so as we're walking off, I just wanna show off this Avatar. They got the 4K here. Ooh, that's a nice slip. Got it for thirty dollars. It's pretty cool. It's embossed, but I'm not going to spend thirty bucks on it. But it's got this nice little standee here. Very cool. They got this cool little end display too. It's got some Ninja Turtle stuff on it, which is which is pretty cool. I've never seen a little end display Ninja Turtles. They got the Ninja Turtles up there too. Oh, it's that new movie that's coming out. A few more Ninja Turtles over here. They have a little side neck section, so let's go check that out first. All right, got some Toonie Terrors. I got some Creep Show back there. These are two Toonie Terrors I already own. Halloween 3, this is a really cool set. Got some more Creep Show. I got some Frankenstein. Fortunately, it looks like it's everything that I already have. You got some Frankenstein and the Wolfman down here. I don't have the Wolfman yet, but I don't think I'm gonna get it today. They also got the Mummy down there. That's a really cool piece. I already own that though. All right, let's go check out the other section. They actually got some more NECA over here. 
They got the Frankenstein accessory kit, some more Elf, some Ronin, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, Earth Defenders, not really sure what that is. They got the Monsters. Never seen this before, the Predator head knocker for body knockers. That's kind of cool. Got some plush. This is kind of cool, but I'm not going to pick it up today, but it is still kind of a cool piece. All right, so we got some... Uh, some more NECA stuff over here. Puppet Master. And the Mummy. Elf. This one's pretty cool. I'm in the market for this one, but probably not today. We got some Nightmare on Elm Street 2 back there. We got some Nightmare on Elm Street 3. Oh, Evil Dead 2. I haven't seen this one in a while. That's, uh, that's pretty cool. I'm really only kind of looking for the uh, Invisible Man Donatello, which... I don't see. You got some hocus pocus here. Uh, they do have the Bride of Frankenstein. I do need this for my collection, but I don't know if I'm going to get that one today. Got some Christmas gremlins. Predator, Predator, Predator. Some more Bride of Frankenstein. Um, some King Kong, King Kong. They got some cool stuff, but not really anything that I'm probably going to pick up today. The Pinhead Toonie Terrors. More Toonie Terrors, Body Knockers, Scream. Some more of the Mummy over there. This is kind of cool. I don't know if I've ever actually seen the, uh, the Sam Toonie Terrors before. You got one of these. These are usually going to rip off though, so I'm going to pass on that. All right, so they got number in Elm Street 3, some more gremlins. So yeah, it doesn't really look like they got uh, too much that I'm really looking for. So I'm probably going to pass on all of this. <laughs> it's kind of cool. I've never seen this before. Northern Exposure, uh, full collection. The flight attendant, the show was actually not bad. This is kind of cool from NACA, the Shredder. I've never actually seen this before. Got this little lunch box down here, which is really cool. Yeah, they have like a whole Ninja Turtles end display. Some more NECA turtle stuff. Uh, pretty cool. I'm not in the market for a turtle's lunch box, but if I was, I'd be in the right place. Little coin purse. Yeah, this is a cool poster, too. I'm not sure what I think about the new movie. I saw the trailer, it looked okay, but um, the poster's definitely cool. Um, yeah, just one more thing. I, I was looking for those McFarlane Dark Knight figures. I don't know if those ever actually made it into store. But what is this? Like a Frankenstein? What is this? Oh, is this like a... Seven Soldiers of Victory. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to pay 30 bucks for it, but it's uh, pretty cool, though. All right, guys. Well, it's about a week later from the last footage that you saw. Uh, I was going to, I filmed that footage that day and then I was going to go out like the next day or the day after and kind of finish out the video and do some stuff. But then I ended up working six days in a row and we've been super busy at work. And I'll be honest with you, every time I come home, I'm just beat. And it's just like, eh, I don't want, I don't want to go out and shoot a video and go hit up the stores. I just want to relax. So it, it took a while, but it's about a week later. And I really only have one mission that I'm tacking on at the end of this video. And that's to go get an item that I originally had pre-ordered. And instead of it getting shipped, I got an email saying this item is no longer available. It is sold out. And it's a limited edition set that I was hoping to get. I pre-ordered and I thought that would have been fine and apparently not. And it seems to be sold out everywhere. And most of you probably already know what set I'm talking about. But apparently there's a Barnes & Noble that has one. Uh, about Not my normal Barnes & Noble. This one's about 15, 16 miles away. Uh, somewhere around there. So I'm going to head out there and go pick that up. And hopefully it's there. I reserved it. So, um, yeah. And then we're going to... I'll show you off... I think I picked up one item like a week ago, so I'll show that off. And then this new item that I'm picking up today will show off at the end of the video. And that's going to do it probably for this video. So, uh, yeah, 
that's about it for this. So I'm gonna get going, get on the road, because I gotta go about 15, 16 miles out to go get this thing. So uh, I'll see you guys there. Oh, and we're, go we're going to Barnes & Noble. I don't remember if I mentioned that. And it is 50% off Criterions right now, but I am not gonna probably be getting any of those. I'm only gonna get one or two Criterions. One of them is doesn't even get released till July 11th. So, uh, but we might just look around just a little bit because I never go to this Barnes and Noble. So we'll look around a little bit inside. I'll pick up that item, and then we'll head back home. All right, guys, let's get going. All right, guys. Well, we are here at the Barnes and Noble. It's over in that corner, right over there. I don't know if you can see it or not. Uh, fun fact: we are at Eden Prairie Center, and this is the mall that uh, Mall Rats was filmed in. Although you would not know it by looking at it today because it looks nothing like it uh it did in the 90s when they filmed that movie but it is still the same mall nonetheless so uh it's always kind of cool to come here i wish i would have came back here back in the day when it um when it actually would have looked like that but um it was pretty much already remodeled by the time i had seen that movie but uh, it's still pretty cool to come here nonetheless All right, guys, well, we just got back from the store, uh, and I got a few things that I picked up that I got to show off. The first thing I'm going to uh, show off was something that I actually uh, pre-ordered and got in the mail. I didn't even pick it up when I was out and about, but it did come uh, just the other day, and that is this beautiful steelbook of National Lampoon's Vacation. Sorry about the glare, guys. That's, like, really, really bad. Uh, this, uh, I love how they use the old, uh, I'm going to try to see if I can... There you go. That's a little bit better there. I love how they use the old, uh, the old vacation like posters, theatrical posters. But this is a beautiful steelbook. I'll be doing an unboxing for this. Uh, heard it looks fantastic too. So we'll delve into that into a different video. But I just thought I'd show it off because it was something that uh, did show up this week. Uh, and then the other thing that I picked up at the half price books was uh, Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse. I'd never seen this movie before. Uh, I did actually watch it. I watched it the other night, and it was it was not too bad. It was kind of fun. There were some kind of gross scenes, and one scene in particular was extremely gross. If you've ever seen this movie, you probably know exactly what scene I'm talking about. Uh, but, uh, you know, it was still kind of fun. It had some cool kills, and uh, but probably not the best zombie movie I've ever seen by any means. But uh, still kind of fun, uh, just to throw in on a... Friday night or something. I, I enjoyed it. And the big thing I picked up. Now this item was an item that I had pre-ordered. And I got uh, an email saying that this item was no longer available. Or was sold out. I didn't know if it was going to come back into print. Because it's a limited edition. I didn't, I didn't know. So then I saw that it was available at Barnes & Noble. And there was one available for pickup at the Barnes & Noble right next to my house. So I reserved it at that Barnes & Noble, got an email back from them saying that this item is no longer available. I looked on Diabolic TV, Best Buy, Amazon, sold out everywhere. And I was like, man, I don't I don't know if I'm going to get this. They might not. I don't know if they're going to do another uh, shipment of these or like another reprint of these or what. But uh, And then I did find, uh, I did happen to find one at a Barnes & Noble about 15, 20 miles, 15 miles uh, away from my house. And they had it, and I went and picked it up, and everybody is talking about this box set. This is a box set that I am super, super excited about. I'm going to move you guys back here real quick. Uh, super excited about it. Some people are saying it's one of the greatest releases of the year so far. And that is, of course, the uh, Enter, what is, what is it actually called? Uh, Enter the Video Store, the Empire of, or Empire of Screams from Arrow Video. And this thing is absolutely beautiful. I will be doing a full unboxing because there is plenty to delve into. Uh, and then you get the... Uh, I'm so sorry about the glare, guys. Uh, so there's all the movies right there. The only movie... These are all um, blind buys for me except for one, Dolls. And I've seen Dolls. I love Dolls. I think that's one of the, one of the funnest, like, corkiest horror movies out there. Uh, but the rest of them are... Uh, our blind buys, and yeah, you get the Dungeon Master, Dolls, uh, Cellar Dweller, Arena, and Robot Jacks. So I am very excited to go back to the video store and delve into this box set. And like I said, I will be doing a full unboxing real soon. Man, I'm sorry about the glare again, guys. It's horrible. Uh, but yeah, this is very cool. It's a beautiful set. 
and um, it was 30% off. So I was a little mad because when I originally pre-ordered it, it was only like 70 bucks or something, I think is what uh, the pre-order price was that I ordered it from. And here it was a hundred bucks, but then it was 20% off. Plus I got my 30% off discount. So it was only a little over 70 bucks. So I really didn't have to pay that much more. Which I was a little upset about. I was going to almost not get it because it was that much. But then with 30% off, it brought it right down to about the price that you get it everywhere else. So I was very, very happy to see that when I went to get it, that it was in fact on sale and I could use my 10% discount on top of that. Uh, so yeah, so that was very cool. And by the way, I think I mentioned it earlier, but the 50% off Criterion sale is going on and is officially live uh, at uh, Barnes & Noble right now. Uh, there's a few people there that were looking at some stuff. I don't know if I'm really going to get too much. The only thing that I'm really, really excited for is, I think it's the After Hours. Martin Scorsese's After Hours coming on 4K. Uh, I've seen that movie only a couple times, and it's been a while since I've seen it, but I remember... I remember absolutely loving it both times I watched it. So I'm very excited to delve back into that one, especially in uh, 4K. So that will be one I'll be picking up for sure. I don't know if I'm really going to get too much else. I might just go really light because I, you know, I was kind of saving up for this bad boy. So, and, and plus with October and September coming, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of great horror releases coming. So uh, probably not going to blow a whole lot of money on Criterions, but I am going to get that After Hours. I think it was called After Hours. But yeah, either way, very cool movie. I will be picking that one up. But yeah, guys, that's it. That's all I got for you today. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Let me know you guys like what I'm doing. Like, share, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video. You guys are amazing as always. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.